you're using Google Analytics 4, Google Tag Manager, and you want to install them on a Wix website, I will show you how to do that. But the process is not as simple as you might think. Some additional customization is definitely needed. To install Google Tag Manager on your Wix website, your website must upgrade to any premium plan. For example, here I have a demo website that is using the cheapest plan that allows me just to connect my custom domain to the website. Because this is the reason. If you want to connect Google Tag Manager, your website must use your own custom domain. And that can be done with any premium plan. In this video, I won't be explaining how to connect your custom domain, but if you want to learn more about that, I will post links below the video to some additional resources, which are basically from the documentation of Wix. So once you have connected a custom domain to your Wix website, now you need to go to the menu and then marketing and SEO and marketing integrations. Occasionally Wix changes the interface. So if you're watching this video and the interface looks a bit different, just keep looking for something that says marketing integrations. Once I go there, you will see a bunch of tools that you can connect. And one of them is Google Tag Manager. Click connect. Here you should click add Google Tag Manager. And here you need to enter the ID of your Google Tag Manager container. If you already have created a Google Tag Manager container, you should click on this ID right here, and you will see it here. You can just copy it. Or actually, if you want, you can copy this. Another place where you can find that is by going to admin, then here, or you can click on install Google Tag Manager, and you will find that container ID here as well. If you are completely new to Google Tag Manager, you should go to tagmanager.google.com, and then there you will be asked to create a new account and new container. Or another option, maybe you see a list of accounts and then you should click on create new account. And then together with that account, you will also create a container. The type of the container should be web. So follow all the steps there. And once you create your website container, you will again see a window that looks like this. So basically just get this ID that starts with GTM dash. So copy it and then paste it here. Click save. And now you have installed Google Tag Manager on your website. So let's check if this is working properly. And then we will install Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. So after you install GTM, go to its interface and then in the container that was installed, click preview. Then enter the URL of your Wix website. Click connect. If you see that Tag Assistant is connected here and here, it means that Google Tag Manager has been installed properly. The next step is to install Google Analytics 4. And since Wix websites are considered as single page applications, just adding a default configuration tag of GE4 is not enough. You need to do some additional customization. So let's take a look. First, in Google Tag Manager, you should go to Tags, click New, Tag Configuration, and then GA4 Configuration. Here we have to paste the measurement ID because then Google Tag Manager will know to which property will you send the data. To do that, you must have Google Analytics 4 property created. So if you don't have that yet, then you should log in to analytics.google.com. And if you are new to GA4, then you will probably be asked to create a new property. But if you already have one, then you will need to go to the admin of Google Analytics and then click either create account or create property. So in this case, I will click create property. And then I will enter, let's say Wix, or let's say the name of the website, this is up to you. This is for internal use, then select the correct reporting zone, because that will affect how the data will be displayed, the correct currency of your business, and then click next, then answer these questions and click create, then you will need to create a data stream. Since we are working with the website, we need to click web. Here you can enter the domain of your website, and then you can enter here something like my website or whatever. This again is for internal use, so at least this part will not matter much. Then click create stream. Then you will see some installation instructions, but you can close them. The only thing that we need right now is the measurement ID. So click this icon to copy go to Google Tag Manager and paste it right here. Then we need to disable this send page view event when this configuration loads because we will send the page views in a bit different way. So disable this and then click triggering and then all pages. 
name this tag GA4 configuration, for example, and click Save. Now we need to track page views. And let's take a look what do we have in the preview mode as we navigate from one page to another. So first of all, I will clear the preview mode right here. So I will click this icon and then I will refresh the page. Then I will go back to the preview mode and we will see a bunch of events right here. And one of them is page view. So this is a custom event that Wix adds to the thing called data layer, which basically is the place where Google Tag Manager is getting data. And then Wix adds some additional information the URL of the page, which basically is everything that goes after the domain, and then the title of the page, and also the name of the event. As I navigate from one page to another, for example, I will click my blog, the URL changes, and then another page view occurs right here. So basically what this means is that we will use these page view events, which are custom page views, and these will be the triggering conditions for us to send the page view to Google Analytics 4. So in Google Tag Manager, go to Triggers, click New, Trigger Configuration, and then Custom Event. Here we have to enter page view exactly like here. So with the uppercase P, like that. Then I will name the trigger and click Save. The next thing is to create a tag that will send the page views to Google Analytics 4. Click New, Tag Configuration, and then GA4 Event. Here we have to select our existing GA4 configuration tag because this tag contains the measurement ID. And then here we have to enter exactly like this, page underscore view. Then in the event parameters, we are going to send two parameters because we have them sent from the Wix, which is title and URL. In Google Tag Manager, those parameters are called page location. So this will be the page URL, we will be sending that. And there's also page title. These two parameters are recognized by Google Analytics 4. Now their values. When it comes to page location, we have only this part, but we need to send the domain as well. That is why we will need two parameters. The first one is page host name. So click the button to add a new variable here and then select page host name. Then we will need to select another variable that returns the URL. But right now we don't have any variable that will return this particular part. So we need to create one. Then let's go to Google Analytics 4 tag and then create that variable. Click the button here, then new variable, variable configuration and data layer variable. Here we have to enter URL because this is the name of the parameter here. So the value of the variable that we will create will be this part right here. And then let's name the variable. I usually name it DLV, which is data layer variable and URL. Also, I realized that we will need one more variable because the value of the page host name is just this, but we also need the HTTPS. And we can do that by creating another variable, which is called protocol. So let's create one more variable. Let's click on this button, then plus variable configuration URL, and then we select protocol, then you can name this protocol and save. Now this variable will be added to the end, but we need to move it to the beginning. So copy will actually cut the protocol together with double curly braces, and paste it right here, then enter colon and then slash slash. So it will be either HTTP or HTTPS colon slash slash host name and then whatever is right here. Then in the page title things will be much much simpler. We just need to create one variable that will return the value of the title. So click the button right here, click plus variable configuration, data layer variable and enter title all lowercase. Then let's name this variable and save it. The reason why we are sending title, even though Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics would be able to take the title from the browser tab right here is because sometimes if you're tracking single page applications, you are fetching automatically the title of the previous page. But by doing this method that I am describing right now, you will always be sure that you're getting the most recent page title. 
So this is done, now the triggering part. And we have already configured that almost. So click triggering and select that custom page view. Then let's name this. So GA4 event page view, and then click save. Now let's test if this is working properly. So click preview. Also, before we test this, there's one thing that you should disable, actually two of them that I would recommend disabling. So when you go to the admin, then data streams, and you select your website data stream, when you're working with Google Tag Manager and Wix, you should disable several things. So click on configure enhanced measurement, then show advanced settings under page views and disable this checkbox. And also you should disable form interactions because this feature of GA4 in general doesn't work properly. So you will end up getting a lot of false events, even though Google Analytics 4 should not have tracked them. So keep these two options right here disabled. Click save. And again, just for sake of testing, I will refresh the page. And then let's go to Google Analytics 4 and test if the data is incoming properly. So let's close the web stream settings and instead in the admin section, go to debug view. And here you should start seeing some events. So let's say that I will go to my blog. Now I will go to the tag assistant and I will click the latest page view event and I will see that my page view tag has fired. Now let's go to the preview mode and see if that page view is here and then I got one page view. So if I click it, let's check what is the value of the page location. And we have proper HTTPS, then this part, the host name, and then everything that goes after that. Now, let me go to another page. I don't know, or actually maybe I can test something like UTM parameters, and then click enter, the page will reload. So let's check what kind of value was received by Google Analytics 4. Here's a new event, I will click it. And if I check the page location, I will see the UTM medium and UTM source here. We can also see that those two parameters are tracked as separate ones. So medium is test and source is test. So everything is working fine. Another thing which is quite okay in Wix because the last time I worked with it like several years ago and the experience was quite bad, but right now it looks like Wix is sending, or at least it is capable of sending additional events based on the interactions on the website. For example, here on this demo website, I will submit this form. So test, test, so on, and submit the form. Even though Google Analytics will not track this automatically, in the preview mode, we see the event called lead. So this was dispatched by the Wix. And in fact, we can track this as a form submission event and send it to Google Analytics 4. So this will be just one example. You are free to explore other interactions that Wix might be able to track, but now let's track the form submission. So first of all, lead, this is the trigger condition for us in Google Tag Manager. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, triggers, new trigger configuration, and then lead. Then I will name this trigger and save it. After that, let's go to tags. And in this case, it will be more reliable if you set those page title and page location in all other event tags as well. So instead of manually entering this one by one, I will just copy the existing page view tag and then we'll rename it afterwards. So when I open the page view tag, I click these three dots, click copy, and then I will name this it can be generate lead because that's the recommended event by Google. It can be form submission, like whatever you want. If you choose form submission, that is okay. Then in the event name field right here, I will also enter form submission. We send the page location and page title, but also we could send probably the event label because that's the page name and what was the form name. In fact, I guess we can go even more advanced and extract just this form name right here, because I don't want to pollute the form name with the name of the page. So we can go a bit more advanced. This normally goes out of scope of this tutorial. So I will not be explaining that much. We are going to use some custom JavaScript, but I think that you will find this useful nevertheless. Anyway, first I need to create a data layer variable for event label. Let's do that in Google Tag Manager. So first of all, I will save this tag and I will come back to edit it a bit later. Now let's go to variables then new variable, 
variable configuration and data layer variable. Here I will enter event underscore label because that is what I see right here. And then I will name this variable. Let's save this. The next step is to create a custom JavaScript variable that extracts just the second part right here. I don't want the first part, I want the second part. So I will click new in the variable section, variable configuration, then custom JavaScript and enter the following code. So this is from the advanced zone of Google Tag Manager. This variable must return the second part of this value right here. So we want to take the event label, which is a variable in Google Tag Manager. So event label, and then we will split its value into two parts. And the separator will be this semicolon and space. So like that. And then when we get two values, which is the first value and the second value, we will select the second value. But in JavaScript, the index of the second value is actually one because the first item is the zeroth item. And then this should be enough. Let's test this form name. So I named the variable. Now I will save this and let's see if this is working. I will click preview. Right now I will be testing just the variable itself. I still haven't completed configuring the form submission. So now I will test the form, click submit. I have the lead here. I click it and then I go to variables in the preview mode. And here I have just this. So this is good. Now this will be the value that I send to Google Tag Manager. If you want it, you could probably adapt my solution and then have just this value right here. But for sake of time saving, I will use this value and I will send it to Google Analytics 4. So let's go to tags and finish editing our form submission event. So here I will add an additional parameter, which is called, it can be called form name. Right now I'm just coming up with parameters, so you can name this as it is. And then here I will select the custom JavaScript variable I recently created. Then finally, let's remove the page view trigger and we will add another trigger. So click on the pencil in the triggering section, remove this trigger, click anywhere and add another trigger, which is lead. Click save. Now let's preview again and then let's submit the form. I submit it and I see that the lead event occurred in the preview mode. I click the G4 event tag because I see that it has fired. I can see what kind of variables were sent. I can switch to values and see what were the values. So the form name is this. And then I can check the debug view. So I go to Google Analytics for debug view. And then I scroll to the top and I see the form submission event. And if I click it, I see form name as well, together with page location and page refer, page title and so on. So that is pretty much it when it comes to installing Google Tag Manager on a Wix website and then installing Google Analytics with Google Tag Manager. If you want to learn how to later build reports with the data that you collect or how to analyze the data, then take a look at my Google Analytics 4 course and I will post a link to it below the video. And that is how you can install Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4 on a Wix website. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tech Manager and Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.